great crossing bridge emerges and thousands come to see this 206 year old bridge we're going to it usually sits under 50 feet of water in the Yokogany River Lake in Pennsylvania. Last time the stone bridge was above the water line was in 2019. The lake levels on October 20th, 2024 were 1376. Due to significant drought, the bridge became exposed in early fall. Turning here at the Lakeside Marine turning left. Summerfield Recreation Area, the Yakagani Lake, U.S. Army Corps Engineer. It says Vacation Rentals Airbnb. The Great Crossings Inn, established 1951. Turning to the right, there's parking spaces. Lots of people below. Some of the homes above the parking lot summer or weekend homes looping down around the parking lot to get to the lower parking lot lots of people down on the old bridge everybody's checking it out there's a large parking lot just above the bridge with more parking on the one side i'm super excited to get to come see pictures and adventures started popping up on facebook we got to come up one other time in the past. You can see the different people that have arrived that are walking up out. And way down below is the old bridge. Looks like a desert. And there it is from a distance with people on it is the current bridge above and down below I think there was another bridge at one time and there's the Great Crossing Bridge. Water has always been up this high where the rocks are. It's not now. The parking lot where people are parking to come to see. People are going up the path to their vehicles. This is the boat ramp where you launch your boat in the summertime. This is where everybody is going to go see the old bridge. Another view of where the water level usually is. Wondering if this is the water level markings when it comes up the ramp. And this is the boat dock that usually is submerged. It's quite popular today. Some places were a little muddy, but most of it wasn't. Traffic traveling on the bridge above. You see the markings, it says 50 feet. And over on the side, it goes down from 45 to 40 to 35 and on. Found a shell. Found a piece of glass. A cable that looks like it's anchored. That goes all the way up to the dock we just saw. We're down this far. The ground is crackly. Used to be water here. No water. A lonely random block. I guess there's another broken one treasures can be found. Some deep holes where people have stepped when it wasn't quite dry. It's doing pretty good cleaning up the bottom of the lake. He's found some good stuff. He's recycling. He has another pile. We're at the old sidewalk with the cut-off trees. At the eastern end of the bridge, this small town of Summerfield was established in 1817. Piece of the sidewalk, part of the old town that was submerged. This is a map of where we're at, middle of the water. We're not. Lots more people are arriving. Groups are heading down the boat ramp. One of the several trees that were cut years ago. Another tree stump. People checking all kind of things out. One of many tree stumps along the sidewalk. Sidewalk's looking better as we go on. Getting closer to the bridge. This looks like a road possibly. Beside the sidewalk. There's the sidewalk with the trees. Not sure what this is, if it was like a porch. But the stones are fit together.
broken bottle. More stone formed. Coming up to a foundation. This is what the foundation's made of, what's left. Corner of the foundation. A brick beside the foundation. That's where there used to be metal or cable. More slabs of concrete. A brick. Due to recent drought conditions, water levels have dropped to a historic low, allowing this 206-year-old bridge and nearby remnants of Summerfield to reappear. Post coming out of the ground by this large foundation. There's the edge of the water. Pieces of brick. Another piece of brick. Looks like a foundation. And this is looking over the edge to the water. And here's a rusted pipe sticking out of the ground. even design on this one. Someone's fishing in what water they can get to. Tree stump. The bridge. Rocks gathered. Not sure if it's a foundation. Possibly. The ground. Piece of metal laying on the bank. The edge of the bank. Footprints. Crackly ground. Pipe. Clay or terracotta drain pipe. Tree stump hanging on the edge of the hill. The bank. A group fishing at the edge of the end of the bridge. We can see three tunnels exposed. Beautiful views from this angle. From this area. Square of concrete. Or rock. Around depression hole. Rocks lined up. This rock sparkles. This looks like part of a foundation. Found more of the pipe. And a metal grade like thing. Fence post that is at the beginning of the bridge. Constructed in 1818, a sandstone structure was built to carry the national road known as Route 40 across the Yakagani River. It was dedicated July 4th, 1818 and was attended by President James Monroe. The small town of Summerfield was established in 1817. In 1940, the landscape changed forever when the Yakagani River Lake, a reservoir created by the Army Corps of Engineer, submerged the bridge and town as part of a federal flood control initiative. Over 175 residents were relocated and the area slipped beneath the lake, becoming part of Pennsylvania's hidden history. In October of 2024, the lake, that normally spans six miles, receded to reveal the bridge and parts of Summerfield's original Main Street. This rare sight had brought people from all over to see the bridge in town that's usually underwater. This old bridge lays parallel to the current Route 40 bridge. The present meets the past. The Great Crossing Bridge is a piece of Pennsylvania's history, now visible again at the Yakagani River Lake in southwestern Somerset County. The little ledge of rock in the bridge. Middle part looks like it's starting to crumble pretty good. Little round pillars on the edge. This is the other side where the bridge was made. You can see where the water levels have made grooves in the side of the hill. Docks that are out of the water from summertime. Nails that are laying on the top of the bridge. The inside wall. Sidewalk before you start on the bridge. That's not something you see every day. On the other side of the bridge, lots and lots of bricks. Cut off tree stumps. The other side of the bridge with the pipe. This is the right side of the bridge. On this side you can see the sidewalk that is 
crumbled and starting to fall off. The top that's starting to give way. One of the archways, the first one we come to. Here's the pile of bricks on this side. A landslide of bricks. Sun shining underneath the bridge. It's where it stops. On the left you have the new bridge currently being used. This is the old one. People are coming all the time and going. Looks like more sidewalk with a tree cut down. There's a boat in the water. Close up of the boat. More of the sidewalk or foundation. Boat's getting closer. The close up look. The boat turned its motor off. They have barriers so you cannot drive onto the bridge. On the side of the bridge is where the fish is being viewed by many. Paul spotted a crawdad. Now we're going to walk to the other end where the bridge is being lost. This is where the pile of brick on the shoreline is located. Not really shoreline. It's just showing now because the water is down, really down. Pothole on the bridge. Sidewalk on the right hand side of the bridge. Tree stump on the bridge with one of the round towers below. The water. More people have arrived. The drought conditions continued and people came from all over to see. As time went on, more of the bridge was exposed. It even made the news. That's where the bridge began with the concrete barriers. And this is how far we've traveled so far, from the parking lot to the, the right. The tall bridge is Route 40, the National Highway. Another one of the round pillars. One of the walls left. Pillar on the left side. Sidewalk went from one end to the other. This part is still left. And that's the end. The guys are fishing from the boat. Still wet, still muddy at the end of the bridge. This is the end of the bridge. It goes, but we can't see it because of water. An old photo and some of the history. This is the bridge. And along the bridge there's what used to be like pillars along. Heading back up through. You can see how far the water is down from where the docks were in summer. From one bridge to the other. Petrified tree stump by the sidewalk on the bridge. There goes the fishing boat under the bridge. The new bridge. Little crack in the bridge. Lots of fishing being done today. We're catching some good fish. This has become quite the tourist attraction. New or old can, what's your guess? As we're walking out, we're staying close where the water is. I see a tire up, some tracks in the mud, and people are still coming and going. Standing rock and some tree stumps that were once trees cut off. This is the bridge before the current bridge. Bald Eagle. really deep holes where people have walked. Several of these big planks. 
the old bridge parts. Heading back toward the parking lot. All three bridges. We're standing on the one. The other one's to the right and one to the left. An old spark plug. People are still coming and going. Almost out. Made it to the top. The kayak we saw coming down is going to go around the bridge. It's going to explore under the bridge. Here they go. Since the time we visited, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Pittsburgh District announced that due to the unknown bridge stability and public safety concerns, public access to the Great Crossings Bridge at Yakagani River is being restricted. The district does not maintain the bridge and cannot guarantee its structural integrity. They've posted signs and a barrier to identify the area closed to public. Visitors are advised not to boat or travel underneath the bridge. However, areas near the bridge remain open to visitors. Going in Jockey Halla boat ramp to see the structures that have emerged here. High water said Jockey Hollow, June 3rd, 2018. Jockey Halla just down from the other bridges. Here's this end of the bridge exposed. Tires along the bank for fish habitat. Metal structure for I'm guessing fish. This is where we're at. The old road. Is the boat ramp for loading boats into the water. Stream, but in summertime you can't tell it's a stream because this is a lake. The stream. These would all be underwater, normally. This is the other side of the bridge. You can hear the stream. It sounds peaceful. People are exploring. The water would be up to the tree line, normally. But in the winter months, the water level is much lower. Docks that are no longer in the water. Lots of people on this end, but not near as many people as the other end. This is what it looks like going back up to the parking lot. We came through Markleysburg, Pennsylvania on our way home and we found Halloween decorations. You have just watched a Jill Garber Studio video.